Long ago, I fell in love with a real-time strategy game called Doom 2. Although it was successful, its form was never copied. But now Blizzard has come up with Warcraft Orcs and Humans. This makes me very happy. Me too. And I've never even played Dune 2. Warcraft is a great game. It's a well-thought-out strategic contest with very slick production. Warcraft takes place in the fantasy island of Azeroth. Once a peaceful land inhabited by benevolent humans, it has recently become infested with vile orcs. Needless to say, the humans aren't too pleased with this. The orcs want the humans out as much as the humans want to do away with the orcs. Naturally, war is the only solution. Playing as either the humans or the orcs, you lead your civilization through a series of scenarios in an attempt to purify Azeroth. You'll be fighting a war of attrition. You'll start out with a basic outpost, a town hall, one farm, and a few peasants and base level fighters. From there, it's up to you. Lumber and gold will be needed to build anything, so you'll quickly assign your peasants to cutting trees and extracting gold from a nearby mine. Danger is always close at hand, so don't let your fighters stray too far from the village. Once you have a steady income, building a barracks will allow you to train additional fighters. You'll want a good supply of fighters for defense, but don't let their training exhaust your treasury. Initially, you'll be concerned with defending your village. Since the peasants do all the harvesting and building, you'll have to guard them well. If all your peasants get killed and you don't have enough gold to train more, you're dead. Initially, the barracks let you train simple fighters, but its abilities can be expanded by erecting other buildings. The lumberyard, for example, lets the humans train archers and the orcs train spearmen. Creating a thriving village is the key to success. The farms supply you with food, which dictates how many units you can have. You'll have to balance your expansion between upgrading your military and keeping your economy strong. Warcraft is played in real time. This could have been a problem, but the interface is very simple and efficient. Clicking on a unit highlights it, and you issue orders from the icon bar on the side of the screen. You can also group up to four units together and give them a common order. This is done simply by holding the shift key down as you click on them with the mouse. You'll be thanking Blizzard for this every time you fight a large battle. Most of the scenarios take place on the surface of Azeroth, but occasionally you'll be asked to clear out a dungeon. You don't produce anything in these missions, you just go forth with your starting party and conquer. I think the dungeon missions are a great addition to the game. In Dune 2, every mission had the same purpose. I really appreciated the variety Blizzard put into Warcraft. It makes this already hyper-addictive game all the more appealing. To make this package complete, Blizzard has added two-player games. You can play against a human enemy via modem or network. This is something I always wanted to do in Doom 2, so I'm delighted to see it here. Yeah, it's a great addition, and very easy to connect to the other player, too. There's no chat screen for the remote games, unfortunately, but it doesn't really matter that much. Warcraft Orcs and Humans is one of the best games I've played in a very long time. Blizzard has taken inspiration from one of my favorite games and turned out a fantastic product. If you like strategy games, you owe it to yourself to get Warcraft. You said it. Warcraft is awesome, definitely one of the best games of the year, or any other for that matter. Warcraft should be at the top of everyone's wish list this holiday season. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a nasty infestation of orcs to purge.